Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having a Porsche Cayenne guys, 4.5 or 4.8 liter engine guys and you're trying to actually guys replace uh, the variable timing solenoid, VVT solenoid on bank 2. This is guys on the driver's side of the engine, stay with us, we'll explain where it's located, how to get to it, how to remove, replace it. Also, we'll explain how to know if you need new solenoid, make sure you stay until the end. Before we start, let me tell you guys, if you, uh, if you have a Porsche Cayenne, if you need to buy any parts, tools, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. So, in order guys, okay, to remove and replace that solenoid, we'll explain what else you need to remove, what else you need to replace since you're already there. So, this is a 2006 Cayenne, but even if you have a newer generation, 4.5, 4.8 liter engine guys, okay, this was this is your bank two okay bank two vvt variable timing solenoid this is the bank one right here that's what it looks like put together on this side guys okay this is the solenoid okay and in order to remove and replace that solenoid you need to remove okay the whole valve cover guys now we have a video that explains how to do that because the video is very very long guys and uh, you can find the video on our channel how to remove valve cover or how to replace valve cover gasket on Porsche Cayenne 4.5 4.8 and uh, uh, I'll try to put the link in the description of the video below once you guys remove the valve cover okay we'll recommend to put new valve cover gaskets for the spark plugs because ours were they were failing okay let me show you how much of an oil leak we have here okay the former valve cover check it out terrible guys terrible also okay if you look at it now guys uh, right here that's for the spark plugs the gasket for the spark plugs our spark plugs were full of engine oil because of failing valve cover gasket that gasket right here will need to be replaced too this is for the vvt solenoid so once you remove the valve cover okay everything is simple you get to the point that you need reverse torx number 10 and we're going to remove two bolts also we have a special video that explains how to test vvt solenoid on porsche variable timing solenoid and once you guys test it okay we actually even have a video that explains how to clean it because most of the times when you have a code that relates to that solenoid all you might have to do guys just go ahead and clean it it's super simple and you can find the videos on the channel i'll try to put the links in the description of the video below okay how to clean variable timing solenoid vvt solenoid do not drop your bolts in the engine that will be catastrophic guys don't do that okay if you do it you're out of luck so hold the bolts really good take your time don't rush things long bolt like that perfect we're going to collect it here now one more on this side okay over here that we need to remove okay working on this one now okay it's coming out make sure something's not spring loaded okay everything looks good all right second bolt out now the solenoid itself you can turn it a little bit and gently grab okay we're going to hit the timing chain guy pull it to the side and this is your VVT solenoid guys okay out of the car that's how you remove it we have a video how to test it how to clean it as well hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time